So when you, when you signed the Interscope, yeah. did you stay in Dallas? Did y'all go to LA? What, what did y'all end up uh, doing? When we signed the Interscope, we signed with Interscope from Atlanta. Okay, From I got his, you. Uh, his office. And then we stayed there, got a house out there. Okay. Then I had my manager. Now I got a manager. She Her name Chandra out of Houston. She okay. kept us tied in from Houston. So me and Prince Rick never had like a manager in Dallas. That's the crazy part. Okay. We never had a spokesperson or a talker. So back then it was hard for us because nobody really wanted to respect kids. But we so business minded. I'm making money without, I'm looking at managers all around Dallas that ain't even making moves that I'm making. Gotcha. So that's what really making people really intimidated of us. So we talking to them, y'all need a manager, you need a role manager, you need, I don't need none of that shit. That's how I was back then. I don't need none of that shit. I got a manager, a booking agency. Gotcha. She book it, me and my hood niggas are going. Go. Going, man. I, I bought like two vans, traveling vans. That's back before I even had the deal. Gotcha. So I was like, man, we was we was going, bro. Like I, I put my all in this shit from like Texas underground. Like this shit is like slavery down here. You going to hit every country clown, country clown. I mean, country town club. Yeah. From Louisiana to Mississippi, Alabama, New Orleans. It's not gonna get no better. Oklahoma, all all our uh, sister base areas. Them hoes a country. So when you trying to, so what was making us mad back then, we really want to do concerts. Gotcha. We doing concerts, but they just in big ass barn houses. You <laughs> feel me? They in the barn well, yard. They call that that Chitlin circle. Man. And I'm talking about the most stuff you get, like Harry Tummy said, the more ignorant it gets, the rougher it gets, the yeah. harder to get your money. Yeah, we went through a lot of shit. Jack, Robs, you know what I'm saying? Niggas stole the whole safes. Damn. So there's a lot of shows we never got paid for. Shows still on uh, lawsuits on shows that still pay us like child support. Right oh, to this shit. day, bro. Like right to this so day. So you said y'all got robbed. Like talk talk about uh, that. Basically like back then when you start, you know, you don't know about the hotels. You study again, apartment hotels and shit. Niggas come kick in the apartment hotel when you ain't there. They steal certain shit or you got janky promoters say my partner didn't show up. So, uh, uh, so I can't pay you, or he stole a safe. Ah, uh, damn. Yeah, we're going through crazy ass shit back then, bro. And you don't know what to believe. You in they city. Right. A nigga will tell you quick in Louisiana shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget where y'all, where you from, Trail, where you at. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't act Hollywood down here. You had to just be, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't even know how to call it. I don't even know how I made it like <laughs> that, bro. I just was, I was me. I used to just say, what's good, family? You good? You, gotcha. you, got, you got the back end? When he come to the uh, travel van, I tell him you got the back end because we had to stop going. We, we started out going in the club first. Like we, we bumped our head a lot back then. Yeah. We had to learn it. So we learned the shit. Got cola, got five star hotel, talked to Bum B and him. He was like, you know, Bum B used to tell us shit like the best thing about a show trail, trail Lee and Prince Rick is having a comfortable hotel, man. We never did know how comfortable that was, how it sounded. And that's everything, because guess what? If a 